Good day, everyone. This is a quick tutorial on how to actually connect some of these forms. So let's get started. So we're going to start off basically with a couple different things. We're going to start with a circle and we're going to start from the top view here and we're going to connect with the grid snaps. So we're going to start right about here and we're going to create that. And this is just a quick example of how to make forms. So with this form here, I'm going to bring this up with the G key. And again, I'm going to keep the grid snaps on so it's easy to snap. And I'm going to hit OK. And then same thing here, mirror. I'm going to go from the center here down. So we actually have these two nice round circles. Now, I'm going to create a form that's a little bit complicated in the middle. So to do that, we're going to use the actual regular polygon tool. So we're going to select this, go to G. Z and we're going to select here and I'm going to bring this out, bring this out about to about here. I want this form to be bigger than the other form. And I'm going to go in and just kind of manipulate this now. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and roll the mouse. And on the bottom, you see a number showing up. I want to go to at least 16. So right about there. Again, you want to do it in fours if you can. And I'm good with that. So again, this doesn't look good at all, but that's okay. So we're going to go back in here now and select every other one of these circles or these points. So we're going to select every one of these points. So select each one, hold the shift key down. And let's go ahead and pull that around. Okay, so now I got these selected. I'm going to hit the S key, hit S, S twice. And we're going to bring this inward. So it's kind of like a, a, a different type of star here. So we're going to go with that first. So something about there, Not I don't want to go past these lines, but somewhere close. Hit OK. Now, real simply, I'm going to select all of them, except for this one. And I'm going to hit the B key to make this nice and smooth. So we're going to pull this in on a plus and make it nice and rounded, just like that. So this is going to be your center section here. Now I'm going to go back in and control this by hitting the snap grids. Select the line, G key, just move this down about four. Again, mirror. Same thing as before, hit OK. So now we got these completely different forms. Now, the coolest way would be to be able to select each one of these and kind of select them all all the way down and hit the L key and then simply connect them together However, this is a very, very, very complex shapes connecting to each other. And it will be sitting here for a very, very long time. I don't think it will ever succeed in this calculation. So I'm just going to cancel this. So how would you actually go about something like this? Okay, it stopped basically now. Let me redo this. So how would you get about go about this type of form? So it's real simple. We're going to, first of all, select each of these forms. We can just do this and extrude. I'm going to do something like that. Hit OK. We're going to do the same thing here. E for extrude, something like that. And the idea is to just get that nice form. Now we could also do this, this form, this form, and we can do a loft. So that way we get that nice form. Hit OK. So let's go ahead now and go to the front view. We're going to use a simple line tool to come all the way down and right click. So now we've got this. We could actually just select these sections here and hit the C key. Use that line and we're going to cut those sections out, right? Okay. So we're not exactly centered here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the whole thing. G key. I'm going to move it all the way in until we get to the, back to the center here. Hit OK. There we go. So now we can select these lines. We can just delete those for now. I'm going to select the model again. Again, hit the C key, and we're going to select that as well. All right, so now we have it in sections, basically, four sections. So the trick now is just to get rid of some of the stuff. So we can delete this. And we could also delete the other side here, each of these sections here. We've got a quarter, basically, is what we're trying to get here. Okay, so this is real simple now. We're going to use these edges here. We can get rid of this first. 
And we can use this edge and this edge kind of to kind of connect to is what we're planning to do here. Okay, so let's start this. So we're gonna hit the F key. We're gonna use the bridge curve. And we're gonna select a little bit away from the edge and a little bit away from the edge here. And before we actually accept that, we're gonna bring this back down all the way till it actually hits the top. And this one also hits the top. We could hit okay. So now we got a nice form that kind of follows the, the curvature. And the same thing here. I'm gonna hit the F key again, bridge curve. Select here, move it over here, make sure it lines up so it's kind of straight. And then bring this stuff all the way to the zero axis or one. And the same thing here, all the way down, it's gonna be one. So these basically equal one. If I hit okay. So now we got the form. Real simple here. We can now extrude this with the E key, bring it out. And the same thing with this one. E key, bring it out. It's really that simple. Now we can select these lines. We can either delete them or hide them. I'm going to delete them because I'm not going to use them again. And then I'm going to use this form and this form. And I'm going to hit the L key again. And now we got that smooth roundness, right? And it doesn't really line up with this like it should because it's kind of pulling it. So we're going to use the actual, um, hold the shift key here and hold this down. And also on the bottom here, hold this down. Now I would suggest that first of all, now if that doesn't work, what we can do here is we can select the whole thing. That's fine. And we can deselect the rest of them. I'm going to hit shifty here. I want to make my own line basically. We can just hide this for now. We're going to hit this one, shift this one, L key again. And this time we're going to select the whole thing with this. And now we got our form. Now we want to also make sure that we select this one here. So it connects with that properly, just like that. Now that's all connected. We can actually hit OK. And it's that simple. So let's go back now and select these. Shift X. To delete those, get rid of the wireframe, delete, and we have part of our form. So now we could actually unhide this, and we have this as well. And we don't need to really do much with this. I'm going to go ahead and now connect these two together with the J key. So it becomes one form. Before I do this, I'm going to Basically select those two, go to the side. I'm going to mirror this. So hit the mirror or Alt X, opposite side. And we could hit OK. Now that we have all these, we can hit the J key. And now it becomes one form. We can hit this one here and just delete it. Shift X. There we go. And the lines too. Delete. OK. So now we have our form. This is real simple now. We can just use the mirror again. We're going to select the object selection itself. Mirror. Opposite side. And we can merge halves. Hit OK. And the same thing here. Go to mirror. Again. Merge halves. Hit OK. So now we have everything connected and we can simply go back in here and hit the cap key, which is shift J, hit okay. Same thing here, shift J, there we go. And we can now go in and kind of select each of these. I might do this one first and go take this first off. I don't want this anymore on. We can go down a little bit more on the rounded part like that. And then we can go here and kind of just change the form a little bit. Something like this. And then we can just select this shift X, shift D. So shift D. Do an extrude. Move it in. Hit OK. And then we can select this section here. First of all, we can hide this and see what 
that did. So you cut into it already, which is what we wanted. And then we can go back in here and just kind of make that nice and smooth. And this one too. Just real simple ways to kind of make your shapes. And now if you go into this other mode, render mode, you can see what this looks like without lines. So take that off. Hit M key here. First of all, we can delete this too. We hit the M and we can change the color to a nicer color. I might go with something like a greenish color. Okay. I'm also going to go with less metal, more, more roughness. So it's nice and shiny. Clear coat. We can bring that up. And the roughness, we can bring it up just to give it a nice look and a little bit of a sheen. And specular color, we can go with more of a, a greenish, yellowish, whatever. Something like that. And now it looks way better. Nice form, easy to connect to. And this is just a quick example of how to make that happen. I hope this helps. If you like these type of tutorials, please subscribe and like, and I'll continue to make this stuff. Thank you.